Okay, everybody. Usually I start these videos off talking about the puppies. But I kind of want to introduce somebody because I don't ever get to do this. This is Lily Von Schnuggles. This is my very first meeting. Lily is a sweetheart and a very devoted, darling little dog. This is what a Mickey looks like when you don't do the groom cut on them. They have very furry little hairy, hairy faces, really. Um, this dog is so bonded to me that she knows when I'm in pain. Uh, she knows when I'm upset. Um, she is truly an awesome, awesome dog. I love her with all my heart. She's our little queen bee. She's also the alpha in our family here. She's got a very sweet little nature. I'm going to put her down. And then I will introduce you to Jet. Jet is going to be our next breeding. This is Jetta Jane, Miss Jetta Jane. Um, it will be her first, so don't, don't get near her. She's kind of grumpy. Um, this is Louie. I like to call him Frenchy because his tongue is always out of his mouth at the time. Louie's a lover, and I adore him. He's my newest Mickey. And he comes from um, Mickey's of Oz. On you can find him, her web, or actually her kennel, on the IMR website. Um, she she does have a puppy right now. That's his brother that is available, and they call him Ring. He is very pretty. So I would advise you if you're looking for an older Mickey, and I think he's about six months old, to contact Annette from uh, Mickey's of Oz on the um, IMR International Mickey website. Okay. Now we got Bella. Come here, Bella. Bella is actually, and Jet actually, is one of Layla's puppies from her previous litters. These are from Layla as well. And Bella's beautiful. She's just a sweetheart. Look at, look at her coat. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, she will be bred in about a year. And all these guys just love the puppies. They just love the puppies. Um, and we like to get them with the puppies because it helps the puppies to socialize. Again, remember what I said. Socialization is very important with this breed. Um, what I breed for is three things. Number one, health issues. Number two, socialization. And of course, confirmation standards are very important. You want a Miki to look like a Miki because there's a, I'm sorry, there's a lot of them out there that don't. But, you know, it's a new breed. So, you know, people are doing what they're doing and I do what I do. Um, we are very happy to say, as we advertised before, we were looking for a home for Frankie. Frankie has a home. Frankie is going to go to Washington, D.C. And I'm telling you, he's going to have one fantastic mommy. Yes, turn around and look so mommy can see you. Okay? That Tony had a home. Sadly, Tony's possible buyer had to bail out for personal reasons, and, and I understood them. Um, so now, this very precious little Mickey, Tony the Tiger, is available for adoption. Um, they are all six and a half weeks old, um, in very good health, and um, just look at the coat. Look at that, and look at the face. This is a beautiful Mickey. It really is a beautiful Mickey. Um, I think his ears are lifting. So he is available for adoption. If you are interested, you can contact me at www.mikilover.com. Or my phone number is 804-745-4449. I will be looking for a very good home for him. And I don't sell my puppies. I adopt my puppies out. Uh, now, come here, clear booby. Okay, it seems like we had another glitch in the tape, so we're going to start this one again. This is Clue. This is our only female. Um, she may be going to a breeder. We're not sure yet. Um, she's pretty small, so that, that's kind of up in the air. So I can't really say if she's available or not right now. Um, and I'm going to put her down. She's, she's got a very quiet little personality. She's very, very tired, uh, just relaxed. But... You know, she's, she's <laughs> hanging on to me for dear life. What's wrong, darling? Are you scared? Is it intensified here? Look at that little face. That's a really pretty little Mickey. She's a doll baby. Hi, honey. Look at those glamour little kisses. You know, when they're puppies, you want to do this. 
and that's not more than showing affection. Uh, it's emulating nursing, and it calms them and makes them secure. So that's a good thing. You know, you don't want to kiss them anyways. And, and another thing I wanted to tell people, uh, this is kind of interesting. You want that shoulder puppy? You know, if you keep him down here all the time, he's going to be a lap dog. They're going to be lap dogs anyways. But if you want the little shoulder puppy, you keep him up here. And this is what they're used to. And when they get bigger, you just walk around like this. And, and they're going to be right here. They're going to tuck their heads into your, your neck. I, I'm getting kissed here. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. You know why? It's Frankie. Frankie's a lover. <laughs> See, Kim, what you're in for? Kisses. 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 <laughs> but the, you know, the one I really, I think I want to stress a little bit more, Tony. Bella, you got to share the love. He is, he's so pretty. Um, I hope I get some calls on him. I'm sure I will. He's just, he's just a very beautiful little Mickey. He's just a little sweetheart. He's like a little teddy bear. He's got that mid-personality, you know. He's, he fights for what he wants, yet he's relaxed. He's not dominant at all, but he's not also overly passive as well. Um, Layla is still nursing. Um, once in a while, she's growling at them now and snapping at them here and there. She's ready for them to stop because, uh, like I said before, they've got teeth. Uh, they are nursing maybe four times a day at the most. Um, they're eating their food, so they're they're right on track. Um, zoom in on that, Danny. That's so cute. Um, that's Belle with Tony. Uh, Belle loves the puppies with all her heart. She's so sweet and gentle. She thinks she's their mommy. She needs to clean them all the time. Um, oh, wait a minute. We got this important person right here. This is little Vino. He came running in here. He said, hey, I'm Vino. Don't forget to take me. So, and Vino's going to Maryland. Yes, his mommy's name is Tracy, and he is so excited. Yes, he's going to be going to Maryland. Um, he's, he's a little bit more quiet, but you can tell he's more relaxed, because look at the way his arms are being held. Um, we're going to probably keep Clue as long as we can, probably for at least, I would say, 12 weeks, because I've noticed that she's a little standoffish. And, and, you know, I've had one from previous litter that was like that, who has turned out to be an awesome, awesome dog, very social. But I feel like I need to keep her a little bit longer so she can be socialized and stay with mom a little bit longer and, and with us. And, and when she, they're like this, I like to hold them all the time. I mean, just hold them and hold them and hold them. Um, and it makes them pretty secure. You might want to zoom down here, Dan. Um, these... Um, these are frames for the pee-pee pads, and I highly advise you to buy one or two if you're going to have puppies or dogs in general that are pad trained. Uh, I had to put these down because, believe me, these guys were, as soon as I put a pad down, it was a toy. And off they went with them, and they jerked them and played with them, and I come back and lay them out again, and off they go again. So I had to pull out the frames, and now they can't get them, but you can see they're using them. So we are pad training our dogs. Hey, Louie. Okay, Louie's back in the picture now. Hopefully your, your breeder will see you. And that, this is, this is Louie. We tend to, like I said, call him Frenchie. Look at that tongue. Louie is a lover. Yes, he's a lover. Yes. This dog is so sweet and so animated and just an awesome personality. And he has an incredible coat. Um, he is so gentle. And he, you know what? If he gets into trouble and one of them might like Lily will fuss at him uh, he, he bounces back and he goes oh I'm sorry um, uh, I, I didn't mean to do that but let's do it again <laughs> that's <laughs> Louie Lu Louie's easy going he's he's just and, and you know it is the nature of these guys anyways so here we got him um, I'm really doing this video mainly because I want people to know that Tony's available but you know my buyers love to see these videos and and, and it helps them bond to their puppies. And, and that's so important to us that when they come pick them up, they already kind of know them because they've spent some time on video with them. Uh, and they're always welcome in my house. Anybody's welcome in my house to come see my puppies. Anybody's welcome to call me. Anybody's welcome to ask me any questions because if I don't have the answer, I'll find it for you. A good breeder 
tries to answer all the questions. Okay, look <laughs> at the background here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call it quits, and hopefully people will get to see the little, the little puppy poos. Um, look at that. She's both of them love, just love them, you know. And yes, yes, Clue, yes, get that nipple. And mommy's doing well. I always like to include the fact that Layla's doing well. It'll be a long time before we breed Layla. She's got to go through a couple of heats before I breed her again. She she needs some serious downtime because she she gets now. Don't be jealous. It, it's not your Tony is not your dog. It's 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 Louis and everybody's. Belle's very possessive of the puppies, as you can hear. <clears throat> and Belle's basically telling telling Louis to back away. That's her dog, or her toy, one or the other. Um, but Layla gets some downtime because she has had the last three litters have been litters of five, and I think she just needs a, some some serious downtime. Um, she, she's doing so well, and we love her so very, very much. We don't want anything to ever happen to her. Uh, Clue's going to go to sleep on the pee-pee pad. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Okay.